Carolina for tonight's non-conference battle between your Texas Tech Red Raiders and the number 16 ranked Wolfpack of North Carolina State. The NC State game was my first start, and I was uh, really excited going into the game. A little nervous, because you know it's your first college football start, and it was in an away game, so I was a little nervous, but I was excited. I got off to a good start. Uh, I got my first career sack that game, so uh, that was exciting, and then um, unfortunately, I ended up uh, breaking my leg. Bryce Ramirez, a junior out of Missouri City who walked on to this Red Raider program, was given a scholarship prior to the start of last season and had not played in the opener, but the Red Raiders were just waiting on him to get back, and Joey McGuire could not say enough good things about Bryce Ramirez. Boy, and it is a severe, severe injury to that left leg. When we talk about the brand and things about being the brand, he could have, you know, been sulking, could have been, you know, worried about his leg. You know, the first question he asked me was not, how's my leg, it's, did we win? He is a true team player, a true competitor, where he is 100% focused on the team, telling guys, don't worry about me, I'll be fine, go win the game. I think that just says, you know, the brand about him, you know, the toughest, hardest working, most competitive guy. Yeah. Hey, Dad. My support for my teammates has been wonderful. My support for my coach has been wonderful. Even the community of Lubbock, uh, the reception has been great. I didn't expect for it to be that big of a deal. You know what I mean? And uh, so it felt good. And, and at the same time, it was kind of like nerve wracking a little bit. Seeing the team there when we arrived, just having Coach McGuire there when I got off the plane, and just having the fans and all, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. My morning starts off early. I try to get there around 7 so I can get to rehab in a timely manner. All right, right now we're in the training room. This is rehab part one, because I do rehab before the lift, and then afterwards I kind of finish it up, so this is rehab part one. Yo. Day to day, for me, I come in to the facility and I do probably about an hour of rehab before our, our team lift, and that's just solely focused on my leg. So right now he's hooked up to some BFR, the ischemic preconditioning setting. So we're essentially occluding 100% of that blood flow cyclically. So he's gonna go five minutes on at 100% occlusion, five minutes off, to really accelerate his healing process. Steve's support has been great from the time that I was carted off the field through all my surgeries, he was there. He's been there still doing my rehab and our relationship has just gone stronger and stronger. He pushes me every day, even the days I don't want to be pushed. He pushes me uh, to the limit, so uh, I really appreciate Steve. I love that guy. We have spent seven weeks preparing you guys for today. And I want you to lock into that, really focus. All, right, all the stuff we've talked about, from Gracie and pushing the floor and shrugging, all right, use that and, and put it to work and then walk away from here a more confident athlete. Well, I'm not gonna stop too, I gotta go to class.
took time to balance being a student athlete. I finally kind of got the hang of it probably last year. For me, it's kind of like prioritizing things, putting school and football first, and then everything else, all the extracurricular kind of comes after. I try to be in bed by 10 o'clock because I know I have long days and get as much sleep as I possibly can. What's up, Chris? Hey, Bryce, how much money? Good? Good, good. Football school is, uh, it's our way of practice before spring ball, so practice before practice. It's kind of getting guys acclimated with the playbook in a non-contact environment, not as heated environment. Football school, here we go. I'm injured, so I have to get on the bikes. When I'm at football school, I'm just trying to help the guys out any way I can. Um, trying to just give them little tidbits that I would use. Really good job today. Everybody in tight. Here we go. BTO! Timelines, you know, sound great and sound, you know, you know, are really good for most people, but the leg's gonna heal when the leg heals. And that's his timeline. The timeline will be when Bryce is ready, when we feel he's ready, when it's safe for him. My motivation right now is to be the best teammate I can be. You know what I'm saying? Trying to learn other things to add to my game. So when I am back on the field, I'll be able to do so. What I just say, boy? Football school done, now on the dinner. I'm still watching film on everything. I'm still out at all the practices. I'm still helping coach up the guys. Like. It's, I'm trying to be as much as a football player as I can while I'm trying to get back to being a football player.